Thank you so much for your blessing. I said in the homily I was going to make a clumsy stab at saying a few words of thanksgiving now. I don't know how you thank people for four years, and really for a lifetime. Because the first people I'm going to thank are my family, my first community, the ones who put up with me. They say you can choose your friends, but you're, you're stuck with your eldest brother. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here and for being with me. Even though that this family is not here, I want to thank the Redemptorists, who for 43 years uh, treated me as a brother and taught me how to love Jesus. I want to thank my priests. I love my priests so much that I can turn my back and not think I'm going to get something stuck there. <laughs> of the Catholic community across the state, both past and present. Thank uh, the Archabbey, Christasiac, whose Archabbey plays such a critical role, not just in the life of this archdiocese, but really in the church across the United States. I'd like to thank my colleagues at the Catholic Center. I'd like to announce that there'll be no purgatory for them. <laughs> Especially for the Vicar General. <laughs> for Madam Chancellor. And for Teresa, who somehow could think. I think she prays to Our Lady of the Knots because she spends a good deal of time untying the ones that I I'm able to do. I think I'd like to thank, at the risk of, of naming names, I'd like to thank the communications department, especially the staff of the Criterion, who've worked so hard in sharing the news of the last six weeks or so, but also in, in carrying the good news week by week. Thank you. I'd like to thank the ecumenical leaders, the judicatories with whom I meet every month and have learned from, as well as the leaders of the Jewish and the Muslim communities here in Indianapolis and across the state. I thank Mayor Hogshead and for the civic authorities. I thank uh, the Vice President-elect, Governor Pence, and his wife, Karen, for the friendship that we share and for the leadership of the legislature and their cooperation together for the good of this state. I thank the media for taking an interest in us and reporting us fairly. I thank the police and the other authorities that have you know, preserved the order of our community and today have been particularly uh, instrumental in this celebration. And gosh, how can I thank the people of this archdiocese. I can recall in those hazy last month of 2012, the first months of 2013, going around to the deanery masses. And frankly, I was embarrassed to be kind of parachuted in out of nowhere on unsuspecting Hoosiers. And I would say to the people, I'm really sorry that you have to buy a pig and a poke. <laughs> and a lot of you would look at me with great simplicity and acceptance and say, no, we've been praying for the Archbishop. Guess it's you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we fell in love then. We remain that way today. I thank the, the religious for the witness of your lives. Thank you especially the deacons because I've been privileged to not only see you at work in parishes, but in jails and hospitals and youth centers and shelters. Thank you for being a witness to charity and mercy in the archdiocese. 
And once again, I, I don't count on my own eloquence or verbosity to really say what my heart wants to say. So I turn to that first missionary, Paul. A letter he wrote to the community, one of the first letters he wrote was to the community of Thessalonica. And he said this, With such affection for you, we were determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our very selves as well. So beloved, have you become to us. And I can't make a lot of promises, but I can make this one. I'm going to subscribe to the criterion. 